And I'd like to extend a huge thanks and shout out to Fletcher Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Franklin, Indiana for allowing me to come out and test drive and review this 2004 Dodge Ram SRT10. At the North American International Auto Show in 2002, we saw the introduction of the Viper V10 powered Dodge Ram 1500. However, showrooms wouldn't see these trucks until the 2004 model year. Despite the looks of aftermarket add-ons, the Ram SRT10 is indeed custom developed by Dodge Viper and Plymouth Prowler engineers through the use of extensive wind tunnel testing to make sure the, air, the exterior is as aerodynamic as a truck possibly could get. Let's rewind to 1996. Dodge had just introduced the redesigned Ram pickup in 1995 and with its big red looks to it, was a revolutionary in pickup design with attention and power and passenger comfort. In 1996, with the success of the Viper, using a modified version of the 8 liter V10 2500 and 3500 heavy duty engines, Dodge and performance vehicle operations team decided to celebrate that by adding the generation 2 Viper V10 in a modified Ram 1500 regular cab painted bonsai blue with dual white racing stripes in a six-speed manual and called it the Ram VTS. Now, eight years later, the realization of that concept has come to life in this very nice bright silver metallic example, which interestingly is the second rarest color for the year. Out of the 3,057 unit production run, only 698 or 23% were bright silver metallic. The rarest color was electric blue pearl coat, and that was reserved specifically for the Viper Club of America edition, with only 50 of those produced. This truck features a dark slate gray, premium leather, and preferred suede interior, and only carries the SRT-10 option pack with no additional factory options. All Ram 1500 SRT-10s are rear-wheel drive only and sit on a modified heavy-duty frame, with power sent to the rear wheels via a Dana 60 rear anti-spin axle with a 410 ratio. The custom tuned coil suspension with Bilstein shocks lower the ride height 1 inch up front and 2.5 and inches in the rear. Front and rear stabilizer bars are standard as is the 5 inch diameter drive shaft. And power comes from the biggest engine ever installed in a passenger pickup at this time and that is the legendary 505 cubic inch 8.3 liter 16 valve overhead valve 90 degree Viper V10 engine. This engine creates 500 horsepower 5600 rpm 525 pound-feet of torque at 4,200 RPM. Truck Trend in 2004 tested the SRT-10 to 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds, 0 to 90 miles per hour in 9.7 seconds with a quarter mile reach in 13.3 seconds at 106.9 miles per hour. Top speed is 154 miles per hour. Fuel capacity on the SRT-10 was 26 US gallons and consumed 10 gallons per 100 miles driven with an estimated total driving range of 260 miles. EPA fuel economy wasn't, well, it was actually horrible is what it was due to the performance nature of the truck. EPA averages are 9 miles per gallon city, 14 miles per gallon highway, and 10 miles per gallon combined. On my 10 mile road test, I achieved 8.7 miles per gallon. While the quad cab SRT10 would feature the HD48RE automatic transmission, thankfully the regular cabs like this one only offered one transmission. The Tremec built T56 six speed manual with a Hurst short throw shifter and annoyingly, a 1 4 skip. All 
All SRT-10s were built at the Satillo truck plant in Satillo, Mexico, and the regular cab sat on a 120.5-inch wheelbase. Around the rear of the truck, while looking like a normal pickup for the most part, the large spoiler across the opening of the bed is the biggest standout feature, which proves to be a problem for those wanting to use their Viper-powered Ram as a normal truck. The spoiler just isn't for show, however. It actually manages airflow as well as a reduction in rear lift and drag. The rear bumper is a custom piece for the SRT, with more chiseled edges and is molded in the body-colored plastic rather than the standard truck's metal bumper. Down below, on the right side, is a large dual-outlet chrome-finished exhaust outlet. And looking along the profile, the SRT-10 has an overall length of 203.1 inches, with a 6.3-inch ground clearance. Low ride height, short wheelbase, and huge 22-inch Viper-style wheels show that this truck is a monster and it does not hide it. And for those interested, despite not being four-wheel drive or even marketed as an off-roader, here you go anyways. It features an approach angle of 16.3 degrees, a departure angle of 25.2 degrees, and a ramp breakover angle of 23.1 degrees. Its overall width is 79.9 inches with an overall height of 74.4 inches. Steering on the SRT-10 is hydraulically assisted variable rate, vehicle speed sensitive rack and pinion with three turns lock to lock and a 39.3 foot turning radius. Wheels are 22 by, 22 by 10 inch Viper style polished aluminum with 305 40ZR22 tires front and rear. Brakes are high performance disc brakes with 15 inch vented rotors up front and 14 inch vented rotors in the rear. Brakes are supported by ABS. And those brakes can bring the SRT-10 from 60 miles per hour to zero and 124.9 feet. Alright, and taking a look at the front of the truck, despite this being based on the regular Dodge Ram 1500 pickups, the front end shares almost nothing in common. The hood, grille, air intakes, bumpers, and headlamps are unique to this truck. While the headlamps do look similar to the standard trucks, they feature unique black bezels for a sporty appearance. As for the hood, normally on the active power bulge, a Viper powered badge would be present, however these are missing on this truck. The hood scoop allowed forced air to enter directly and cool the engine, as well as allowed hot air out. The grill openings are larger to allow more air flow to, across the radiator, and down in the lower portion of the performance bumper, large openings directed air for more lower radiator brake cooling and brake cooling channels. Of course, as is SRT standard, large round fog lamps complete the package. And now we're going to take a look inside. No smart key access here, just standard keyless remote entry with the remote transmitter, uh, typical of all Daimler Chrysler vehicles of this era. And Dodge claims that there are 165 differences of the interior of the SRT uh, in comparison to the regular Dodge Rams. Only I see just a few of them. I don't really see 165 differences. Most uh, pointedly are the satin silver trim. You also have the satin silver window switches as well as the sport pedals and the satin silver uh, gauges. Infinity audio system is standard on these trucks. Nice wide opening doors. Leather wrap tilt steering wheel. You do also have this oil temperature gauge which is an SRT standard. Headlamp and fog lamp controls down below. You've also got power adjustable pedals. And you do have the SRT specific uh, brushed aluminum pedals. They look really, really nice in this truck. And here you have six way power seats with a manual seat back adjust. The seats are very, very sporty, very high bolsters with good uh, grip. Nice, large, leather lined bolsters with the preferred suede inserts uh, create a lot of grip. Of course, you also have the SRT and embroidery on the headrest. Overall, the seats are very, very comfortable.
40-20-40 split folding seats with the uh, center armrest as well as storage and a 12-volt power point. You have the infinity subwoofer behind. And the seat bottom cushion does open to reveal more storage and the infinity amplifier. You've also got a sliding rear window. All right, pan through the interior and show them a little more details. As you can see here, nice fluid power assisted steering. It is a leather wrapped steering wheel, although an Alcantara line steering wheel would be a lot better. Much more preferred as it gives better grip. You do have standard cruise controls and audio control switches on the back sides. Again, here's another look on the A-pillar mounted oil temperature gauge. And the SRT specific brushed aluminum uh, gauges with green backlighting. Low, low miles. And yes, this does have a check engine light on there. It's an O2 sensor. And looking over the top of the dash, it is basically just standard Dodge Ram 1500. On the VCA editions, the center trim would actually be uh, satin silver. However, this one is a matte black. Another difference is the push button start an aftermarket Sony audio, Sony audio system, and you have dual climate controls. Well, you have driver and passenger temperature, but single zone fan speed and uh, zone control. Storage compartment below. Ash receiver. You got more storage here. A nice wide center console with multiple storage and cup holders and a 12 volt power point. And of course here you have the iconic Hurst short throw shifter, 6B uh, manual transmission. Overall the interior of the SRT10 is pretty cheap. They almost all Daimler Chrysler vehicles were pretty horrid at this time frame. You do have an automatic dimming rear view mirror. Overhead you do have the overhead uh, console with um, map lights that don't work and a Mini Traveler Trip Computer with Universal Garage Door Opener. Various uh, readouts for fuel economy as well as your compass and temperature. You can change from uh, English to metric and you can reset. Pretty standard fare across the entire Chrysler board at this time frame. And you have nice wide sun visors. They do feature illuminated vanity mirrors. And the sun visors do swing out and they also slide out on extension rails. While there's no rear seat, we'll take a look behind the seats anyway, because you do have multiple storage bins back here. You do have grocery bag hooks. You also have a center uh, child seat tether, the amplifier and uh, subwoofer for the audio system, as well as storage bins below behind the driver and passenger seat backs.
Alrighty, the pickup bed down to brass tacks. What you see is a six foot three inch pickup box with a total cargo volume of 57.7 cubic feet. The cargo box dimensions are it features a length of floor with gate close of 75.9 inches, a total cargo width of 66.4 inches, width between between wheelhouses is 51 inches, with a depth of 20.2 inches. Tailgate opening width is 63.5 inches with a tailgate load height of 34 inches. The SRT-10 features a total payload capacity of 1,400 pounds, and towing with the SRT-10 regular cab is not recommended by Dodge or SRT, as it is built to be an ultimate performance muscle truck, not a workhorse. And this does conclude this in-depth review. If you liked the video, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And of course, check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews. This is the first video of 2020. There's plenty more to uh, see, so hit that uh, notification bell to get more updates. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.